the remote patient monitoring program came about um, as a form of potentially avoidable hospitalisation, which is one of the um, key areas we're looking at in our health um, system to help uh, ease the pressure and the burden on the hospital systems. Remote patient monitoring allows a patient to take a device home to actually monitor their health condition and that feeds directly back to our nurses and GPs. So it helps them uh, intervene when, interve when something needs to happen, but it also means the patient builds health literacy around understanding their condition and when they need to seek help. We can uh, monitor their details uh, in daily basis and we can see whether they are falling to the, to the right parameters, whether they are, fall, they are they are falling between the red flags and uh, identify them, especially when they are moving to the, to the extremes and, um, and, and then intervene in early, either contact them, contacting the patients or maybe tell the nurse to, to call the patient and make the appointment to see how they go. We found the process of monitoring results quite straightforward. Having access to the alerts page, we can quickly see the data that we need rather than having to trawl through lots and lots of data to be able to get what we need. I think it's great. It's fantastic in the way that if you have any, your oxygen sats drop low and your heart rate's high, it will message your doctor, it will message back to you and let your doctor know there's something wrong. And your doctor, it, it message your doctor straight away. It will let him know there's something wrong and your doctor can contact you at home. Oh, I found teaching people how to use the app quite simple, actually. The app is quite uh, synergistic the way it works. It's very straightforward, very clear. Clients don't have much of a problem at all. Um, and they know that we're always there to help them. They're happy to give us a call and we talk them through any issues. But Honestly, it's been quite simple. Once you set it up with your phone and your doctor will help you set it up with your phone and the company that comes in sets it up with your phone, it's fantastic. It's really easy to use. Yes, it's been easy to get into. Uh, once I knew where to go, I knew where to go into it. And it, it, if it cuts out, I go straight into it and reconnect back up. Yes, it's uh, quite easy. The whole society feels that people of an older population struggle with technology, but I've actually found it quite different. I've found them quite willing to engage and quite interested. And just with that, with that little bit of nurturing and a little bit of help, they're able to really embrace that and to give us back that data. They've managed it really, really well. The most surprising thing we're finding from the program has actually been the population group, and that's the 80 pluses that have really taken to using the devices. Um, the second highest view group are 60 to 79 year olds. It's really flipping the belief that older people can't embrace technology. We have had some uh, unexpected benefits with the program. Clients report back being more aware of their symptoms and being able to relate that to how that looks in their vital signs, which the clients themselves have found quite surprising. Uh, we've even picked up on some changes in patients' health, which we didn't expect, which were evident before they had a deterioration. And they can actually see through my monitoring if there's anything like um, if my oxygen sets are high or my blood pressure is high, it will come back to through my phone and let me know. So it's great, fantastic like that. It has been a very good positive experience. Um, I know where I stand. You know, if I have uh, any problems, I just get in touch with my doctor or my GP, you know, straight away and make an appointment to see him. The feedback we're getting is mostly from patients who are actually loving the program and it just gives them reassurance that their GP or nurse knows exactly what's happening with their condition. Have I found extra engagement? I feel I have because We've been able to go with clients to their GPs. We've helped patients articulate their symptoms, their signs. We've helped patients to be able to ask what they can do to stay well. Whereas previously, patients didn't seem to feel that there was any way they could stay well. Yeah, I think it's a great program for the patients. Uh, I would like to see that more and more patients uh, enroll into the program um, and more and more patients to take the responsibility of looking after their health. I just feel there's so much room to just push it, push it further and push it further. If we could just keep pushing, <laughs> it would be great. Uh, patients that uh, have heart surgery or got problems, yes, they, they need to be in a program like that uh, so they can learn 
what they're doing, you know, and they can monitor their own blood pressure and that, you know, which is uh, quite interesting. And I would recommend it to anyone to do this study. I think it's fantastic, really, really good. We've collected some data around hospital admissions and presentations in the last six months, and we found that uh, clients who have been on the program for six months, their hospital presentations and admissions have halved, which is just um, even better than what I'd hoped for. Digital health is the next advance in healthcare, and it's really where we're going to be moving in the future. Um, implementing innovative solutions um, to help patients at home and actually better to mo better monitor their health is really important going forward. Um, we would like to stay up with current technology. So actually implementing and helping our practices embrace it is a really next important step.